Hello everyone, my name is Herman Lewis and welcome to my channel, The Last Natufian. And this is part 13, all about Egypt. But first, the pillar rules. No people, no places, terrain on the faces, like here, there's Haran and the mountains outside of it, and rivers on the edges of the pillars. And we're going to look at both of those today here in Egypt. This fragment of a pillar that I, I did, I've done two videos on. On the first one, it was just short because it looked like to me that this was the, the vulture we've seen before, you know, from the Golan Heights. You've got the Sphinx, you know, it was the other lion. Um, this would have been Libya, right? Uh, could, I couldn't find the, the head, but, you know, I thought this was war and violence. And also, you know, people had talked about the, this culture and, and heads being cut off or whatever. And, uh, uh, and, and on the vulture stone itself, there's a headless body. But as we saw in the vulture stone, that's really just the shape of, of, of the world. And that's what's going on here as well. Okay, and I'm going to show that here today. So the way I discovered it is I thought it was, is when I saw this map. Um, right away, I saw this lion here right? Beautiful with the mane, all that. Then the, the, here's the bird. You know, I saw that right away. And then fam. Um, so, you know, let me zoom in a little bit here. And so even though fam wasn't rectangle, like on the stone, it was shaped like, like the boar, right? Um, and here's the, here's the, would be the animal that goes, wraps around the lion, but no head out here, right? No, no head, but that's going to change today. Like I said, we're going to, I'm going to show you that today. But as far as in here, we've seen Cairo, as far as the, the Sphinx and the Nile and fam, you know, in that sequence here, it is just beautiful. The two parallel lines is Nile, is the Nile. Here is the uh, the, the Sphinx at 12,000 years ago, and there's fam. So, and, it's, and it follows the rules. It's right there on the edges of the pillars. Just just absolutely beautiful, right? Just, just beautiful. Beautiful. But we're talking about this pillar here today. Now, that last video I did where I found Hierapolis, right? It was a circle. And so that kind of motivated me to come back to this stone to find this circle, okay? Um, so I want to talk about the head here. Now, why, why they call it a head? And it does look weird because there's no eyes, really. There's this tiny little mouth, you know? If you zoom, let me zoom in on it, right? There's this tiny mouth here and then these eyes. And this looks like, well, let me rotate it. Let me, I did a rotation here. Let's see. And you can see it better there. So, and because this is the way they, they drew people, all right? And with a little mouth and all that. That's, and that's the way they'd find them. Let me show you. Like this. See that? that? Back then, that's how they drew them. And I don't know if it's because it would be fragile if they did it, you know, in the real way, the way real people look, or it was, it was difficult. But to me, it just looks, there you go. I agree. It's a, it's a head. And then up here, because it's straight lines, not, not, not like down here. See how these are curved because they're natural. The, this is human made. So it looks like a headdress off of this head, right? So it's a little symbolic there, um, but they've done a little of that as well. So, and so that's, that's why it's in that shape. So what I did here now in this image, this one's really cool. I took that map and I rotated it to make it look like this map, okay? So as best I could. So the, the, here is the bird, here, here's the bird in here, here's the eye of the bird, see it right there, the eye? And coming down here is fam, fam is in a, see the rectangular shape here? of fam. Fam is in a rectangle, as I've shown before, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now, as far as the legs, as I said before, see how the, the color brown goes down through here, but the trails come up through here? That Those are the actual legs of the, of the lion here, right? See, those are the actual legs. And then the rest of the, the this body over in here wraps around up in here, okay? And see where that this trail goes down, the yellow? See that goes straight down? That's that little elbow here, right? And so this little elbow here, that is the head, right in there that I'm going to show you. So all five components of this are represented here. Even here in FAM, see the little circle here, the, the, the lakes right here on that little circle? There you go, there's some lakes right there. And I've got a topographical map here to show you on that. This one's kind of cool, but you can see this would be the bird. See the delta? It's fanned out like a bird. Now I wanted to show you this because there is the rectangle, right, of FAM. And there are those lakes, those round lakes right there, right? Just like it shows over here. See this right there? There's the round, the round piece right there. Okay, as far as the rest of it, um, you can see that the mountains that cause the legs there. Here is the, the lion, right? And uh, uh, as far as the ears, let me zoom in on that. We've shown that you that before. Look at that. Those are the two ears. And then here comes down to the face, that square face with the mouth. And in cartoon form, that's what they did. Here's the two ears, square face, mouth. Here it comes around over into right here. So what I'm going to show you is in this bay right here is the, is the head. So, and I'm going to do that with Google Maps here. 
Let's do that with maps. Like do with everything else. Okay, so first off, we've seen here, here's here's the the delta. Here is that heart is the sphinx, um, and there's Phaem. Um Once again, let me zoom in. You can see that with the legs, and and that's just gorgeous. As far as the the circle, here you go. It's either the lake is what the circle on the on the face of that, or it's this. Look at that. There's an impact crater right here. Circle right there. One of the two, or it's this lake, it was bigger, you know, to make that circle that they put on there. But anyway, that's that's the first piece. Getting back to here is what I mentioned, the circle right there on FAM. Okay, so so let's let me let's get over. So let's just go in sequence. All right. So here we've got the bird first, right up in here. Let me let me orient it right so you can see the, the lion. Look how beautiful the lion's face is, right? So you've got the bird here. There's fam right here. Now, how would you use this? Here you go. So the legs of the lion, you come into it right here. It, it's the it's an oasis, right? Then you'd follow this to another oasis. Here's Citra Lake, right? You're still following up the legs. Now you're coming up the legs here up to up to here, and right here at this corner right here, where the legs come together, you've got the Siwa Oasis in here. And look, you got the Temple of Amun. Now how old is this? One civilization on top of another, uh, in a beautiful oasis. All right? Look at that. Just You can just tell by the, the work everywhere. Just one civilization on top of another. Just beautiful. Right? One after another. Something interesting here too, Cleopatra's bath. I mean, there are the steps to it, I believe, and then there it is, Cleopatra's bath. So that, that's what you've got going on right there in the desert, right? <laughs> Temple. So let's just keep, now from here though, you've got, now you're going across, now we're getting into some, a little bit of map work here. From here to here, the Siwa Oasis to, to Mars over here is right here is the belly of the, this animal here, okay? And then the two trails, the two come together and come down here. See how the two trails? There was actually a trail here. There's another oasis right here, but that's, <laughs> that's the border between Libya and, and, and Egypt. It stops, so the road even stops right here. But if you look closely, there's a trail that leads all the way to the other oasis, okay, into e Egypt here. So this would have been connected. You see that? So the trade routes, it would have been, let me show you, just from the bird right through here, up around through here, right? Up through here. And the two legs is the two, two trails coming together here. Two trails coming together here. The two legs here, that's also two trails coming together here. See it? Absolutely. And then this headless animal is just the trails coming around here. Now, they show this, if you look closely. Right here at the elbow of this is the face, right? Is this, well, right here. When you come to where they join together, there you go, everybody. Here it is. There's your face. Two eyes, nose, little mouth right there. But again, they don't draw it that way. They draw it with that, this high brow. Now, I was wondering, why, isn't it, why is it shaped this way or uh, oriented this way and not this way? Well, then I thought about it. As you can see, they, from the beach, they would see it, the face going straight out like that. You see that? That's how they would see it. Okay? And that's that was the significant part of it. So let me put this up here. And that's all five components, right? One, two, three, four, five. All five of these pieces right in here. And <laughs> just just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Which which makes let's see. When you put all of the pillars together now, it, as I said, it connects all five bodies of water here. All right, here's north, south, there you go. So starting from what we just did, you can see the lion. Look at the lion's right there. How beautiful is that? It's right here, right? Oh, just beautiful. So we're, we're out here, all the way around here, all five bodies of water, the whole cradle of civilization. Now, as far as that famous head here, what is that? Well, if you've stuck around long enough, I've got a bonus for you. 
on Google Earth. So once again, here on Google Earth, this is this is everything. I mean, you know, I'm gonna get to the ducks up here, I am, but Gobekli Tepe is right here. You can see uh, Haran right here, right? Here's the, the back end of what looks like a chicken, and there you go, that's the Euphrates, right? You can see a lot of these things that are in here. And so getting over into here, so, you know, they weren't cutting people's heads off. <laughs> they, so what were they doing over here? All right, look, there's the, there's the head. All right, here he is. So what is over here? Well, I'm guessing that they were doing what they were doing here today, all right? There you go. So if you were, if you were here, I'm guessing that you would enjoy this lagoon. I'm guessing that's what you would do. Okay. There's all kinds of resorts here today. So back 12,000 years ago, I'm guessing you would be doing what Cleopatra was doing in her time. And that was taking a nice stroll on the beach. Taking a nice stroll on the beach. Isn't that great? That's what's here. That's, that's what's here. Walk out to the point here. Uh, there you go. Just take a nice stroll out here with everybody else. Hmm. Isn't that awesome? I'm so glad I found this. What started me on this whole adventure was finding pre-pyramid uh, Egypt. So, so finding pre-pyramid Egypt here has just, uh, just, uh, it, it just, I don't know, I, I can't put it into words, okay? But I'm just so glad to share it um, with you, okay? So there's Egypt, everybody. It's on two pillars. My name's Herman Lewis. I'm the last Natufian. Please leave some kind comments. Uh, this has been a great video uh, to me. I hope it's been a great one to you. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much and prost!